Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'll be upgrading the BIOS version for this HP ProBook 640G3 laptop. So I'm going to show you around a little how it looks. So there you go, that's how the laptop looks. I have done many videos in the past about how to upgrade the BIOS version on, on many different devices and models. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the playlist in the video description below. So now, this is the computer, this is Windows, as you can notice, and we only have one hard drive. So this is the C drive where Windows is installed. And as you can notice, there is a lock there. So that means this computer, this laptop has BitLocker enabled. So if you don't know about what BitLocker is, it's a software from Microsoft that encrypts all your hard drive. Okay, so in this case, we have to disable it before upgrading the BIOS version. Otherwise, you're going to have problems, right? So in order to disable it, by the way, if you don't see this on your computer, you don't, do, you don't, ha you don't have to do anything, okay? Only if you see the lock. And you only see BitLocker in Windows Pro and above. And above. So I'm going to uh, look for PowerShell. All Windows versions have it. So right click on it and you have to run it as an administrator. You have to be the admin on this computer on this computer. So I already have it open and it has to look like this. So Windows System 32, as you can notice over there, that means that you are running it as the admin. So the command you have to run is this one, disable bit locker, mount point and the drive uh, letter. In this case is the C drive, uh, that's by default when you install Windows. So you have to disable that. So the only thing you have to do is press enter and after a few seconds, it's going to show you all this information. So now we have to verify if that has uh, has done something. And as you can notice, you cannot see the log anymore. OK, so verify that. So before we continue, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So we don't need uh, the PowerShell and the my PC window anymore. So I'm going to open a CMD. You can do you can do this uh, as well in PowerShell, but I'm just showing you another option. So you type CMD. You don't have to be the admin for this. You just you, you can do it uh, regular. But I'm, I'm, I'm using the admin account for this. So uh, we need to find the BIOS version, the model for this computer, and the serial number. So I have a few commands that you can type. So the first one is to check the system model. So system info, pipe, find system model. So I'm going to press enter, and we're going to see what it shows us. So after a few seconds, uh, it's going to show the model. So as you can see, HP ProBook 640G3. So we verify that this is the model. And then we're going to check the BIOS version. So that's the command over there. And after a few seconds, we can check that it's 1.03 that came out in 2017. So that's a long time ago. We are right now 2021. So there has to be a more current version, right? So the, the next uh, command we need is the BIOS, uh, the serial number for this model. So you can run this in any computer, doesn't make a difference, Dell, HP, Lenovo. So that's the command, serial num uh, BIOS get serial number, and the serial number is over there. So it's uh, cover in my case, but you will see some numbers over there. So write, write down that number or take a picture, we are going to need it in a few more minutes. So now I'm going to go to my desktop computer and I'm going to continue creating the USB bootable flash drive from there. Uh, you can do it in this computer, but if this computer is Linux, you won't be able to do it, okay? So besides that, I can record the screen and you can see better what I do. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Hello, welcome back to my um, desktop computer. So as you can see, uh, the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. So the first step is to go to the HP website. Again, all the links are going to be in the video description below. So this is going to be, this is going to look different depending when you visit the website. So from here, hp.com, we have to go to support and then software and drivers. We click on there. Then we have to, to choose what we, what we need. So printer, laptop, desktop, other. So this is a laptop. So we're going to click on there. Then here is where you have to type uh, the serial number so uh, the, that we got a few seconds ago, actually. So after you have it, you submit it, you cl click on submit, and you're going to see a website like this. So software and drivers for this model. So in this case, it's a ProBook 640G3. So you have all the drivers that, do, that you will ever need. Uh, you have the firmware, you have the uh, driver audio, you have the graphics, driver network. So you have a lot of drivers over here. 
Now, well, of course, what we are looking for is the BIOS. So we're going to click on it. And as you can see, the version is 1.37 that came out in November 2020. So I'm recording this in, in January 2020, 2021. So it came uh, two months ago. So that's good. I'm going to download it so we can see that there is a new version. So we're going to download it. If it doesn't download, click on that orange box, but it should download it automatically. So I already have it. It's here. And now I'm going to double click on it to start all the creation process. Uh, so I double click on it and uh, it opened in my other monitor. So it looks like this HP notebook system BIOS update. So we're going to click next and we have to accept the, li the license agreement next. And I'm going to change the directory. You can leave it by default, but I advise you to do it. I have created this HP folder. It's empty at the moment. You can call it anything that you may like, but it's going to be filled of documents in a few more seconds. So as you can see, I'm going to change it, HP, then next. And that was very quick. So this should pop up automatically. Create recovery, recovery USB flash drive. So as you can see, the HP folder, now it's full with documents or files. So again, this one should pop up, pop up automatically. If it doesn't, open the HP uh, folder and try to run this uh, executable, this application, okay? But it should pop up automatically. So now this is what we need to do, create recovery USB flash drive. So we do this when we want to upgrade the BIOS version on another computer, because the one I'm working on right now, it's not uh, HP. So the other thing I forgot to show you is the USB. So this is the USB I'm going to use for this video. It's 14 gigabytes, can be any size. As you can see, it's empty and I advise it to be empty and formatted. Otherwise you might have problems. So now that we have that clear, I'm going to click next. Automatically it's going to select the USB flash drive, FAT32, that's the file system. Next, and that's this is really quick. So it's going to take a few seconds, like you can see here, the recovery flash drive has been successfully created. To uh, recover a device in the flash drive, please follow the next steps, power off the device and insert the USB and power on the device. So we're going to do that, so finish. So uh, this is the USB. I'm going to show you that it was empty before. Now it has this folder, Hewlett Packard. It has two files, BIOS update. As you can see, it's empty. BIOS has three folders. The first one, well, the bottom is empty. The one in the middle is empty. And the top is current. That's the actual uh, upgrade. So now guys, I have to show you something. When I was doing the upgrade, I was recording the video, I uh, found out this message. The system could not find one of the BIOS update binary files. Please make sure the correct bin file is located in the system hard drive or USB. So it's given us the location, Hewlett Packard BIOS new folder or uh, Hewlett Packard BIOS previous folder. The one in the middle is another, we don't need it for this video. But as you have noticed a few seconds ago, the new folder is empty. So that's the error I received. So I have to go back and change it a little. So that's why I'm showing you this. So we are going to do that right now. So as you can see the current and the new, I'm going to put the content of the current file to the new folder. So as you can see, new is empty, as we have seen before. And the one, the current folder has these two files, which, is, which are the upgrades. So I'm going to copy them as simple as that. And I'm going to paste it in the new folder, just like that, very simple. So as you can see, again, I, I copy the content of the current folder to the new folder. As you can see, we have the two bin files and that's pretty much it. So I never had this problem before doing any upgrades. If you find this problem, you have to do this or something like this. So and now what I have to do is remove the USB flash drive, take it to the laptop and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to continue recording on my cell phone. I'll see you in a few seconds. We're back uh, to the laptop and this is the USB we just have created. So we have to connect it to any available USB port. So as you can see it right there. So now allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Next, we're, I'm going to turn it on like you see there and I'm going to start pressing the escape key to access the system menu. So you're going to see the HP logo. And while we're doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So after a few seconds of pressing the escape uh, button, you, we can see this startup menu. So I'm going to do a close up. And from here, you can use the mouse or the key or the keyboard, but we have to choose system setup. So we go to, uh, I'm sorry, BIOS setup, F10. So here we have a lot of options. 
then we have to look for update system BIOS. We click on it, or press enter. Here we have a lot of options and we're going to scroll down until we find update BIOS using local media, which is the USB flash drive. So final BIOS update step is about to begin. During this update, uh, the display will go blank for part of the update. The display might flash on and off. The update can take up to five minutes to complete. So it's, given, it's telling us that uh, do not um, turn off the power, do not stop the BIOS update process and all that. If you do that, your computer might become unusable. Okay, so if you're on a laptop, connect the charger. If you are on a desktop computer, make sure that you are connected to a reliable source of power. So when you are ready, you have to click on update BIOS 1.37 and the update is going to start as you can see it right there. So it's telling us uh, uh, update BIOS 1.37, it's telling us the same, don't uh, stop the, the power, don't stop the process. So the video sped up so you don't have to wait all the time. So when th this part is done, you're going to see this. The system BIOS update is complete. Upon restarting, the screen might be blank for a few minutes and various LED lights might flash. Please do not attempt to interrupt the power source. So you can click reboot or wait until the uh, time runs out. So I'm going to wait for that and then it's going to restart itself. It's going to take a few seconds, so don't panic. <laughs> it took like, I don't know, 40 seconds or something. The videos is sped up in many parts, so you don't have to wait all the time. So as you can see, the power button, well, the computer is shut down now, and after a few more seconds, it's going to turn on by itself. So we keep waiting, and we're going to see that the um, this screen, USB type, controller firmware update. I never seen it before. Normally, this is updating something else. I don't know if it's related to the model, but it, this one took like uh, five minutes or something. So the video sped up again, so you don't have to wait all the time for it. So you just have to wait until it finishes and then we, we can continue. I mean, the update, the BIOS update has been completed. So this is something else. <laughs> Let me know if you find this. So after this has finished, we can see this. The computer is restarting again and the video sped up in many parts, like I mentioned. So as you can see, Windows is starting. So there you go. So I'm going to reboot it because we don't have anything else to do well yet. I want to show you something on the BIOS itself. So it's restarting. I'm going to start pressing the escape key so we can, we can have access to the system menu. And now we have to go to the second option, system information. So we're going to press enter or click on it. And then we have all this information about the computer. So if you see in the fourth line uh, for row, it's a system BIOS. As you can see, the version is 1.37 that came out in October 2020. I don't know what it says October, it should say November, but that's another thing. <laughs> but as you can see, the upgrade has been successful. So for us, the next step is we can press escape. And we can log into Windows. The system is going to start booting up, as you can see there. And then we are logging into Windows. So this is the desktop computer. We are going to see, we're going to check the My PC. As you can see there, uh, we click on this PC, I'm sorry, this PC. And we can see, as uh, we have done at the beginning of the video, that it's not encrypted. So we have to enable it. So I'm going to right click on it and we can see the option turn on BitLocker. Guys, if you are not the admin or have admin rights, you are not going to see turn on BitLocker. So if you don't see it, it's because of that, okay? So you just have to click on it, turn on BitLocker, and it's going to show you this, uh, starting BitLocker. Uh, you leave it like that, new encryption mode, best for fixed drives on this device, that's fine. You just click next. And this one, are you ready to encrypt this drive? You don't have to select anything, you just click on start encrypting. So this one is going to depend, this is going to be a long process depending how big your hard drive is. So for me it took around 40 minutes. Yeah, it's very, 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 very long time. So I'm, I'm just going to stop the recording and come back when this is done. So after a long time, <laughs> 40 minutes or something, we're at 99%. So we just wait for it to be, the process to be completed, the encrypting process to be completed and encryption of C is complete. So you just uh, click close. And as you can see, the lock is already there. Uh, now that means uh, it's encrypted. So the hard drive is the way it was at the beginning of this video. Okay, so this is how you upgrade the BIOS version on these kind of computers. Uh, this, this one is an HP model, but it can be anything. It can be Dell, can be Lenovo, can be any other brand, can be also a desktop computer. The only difference is that this one was encrypted. 
So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.